Hey, this is Garrett over at Conquest Classic Cars, just doing a quick walk around and start up on our 1986 Chevy El Camino. So this is an absolutely gorgeous El Camino, probably the nicest one I've ever had. It's got 55,000 miles showing on the odometer. The chrome work is beautiful. It has this aftermarket cowl hood, a matching tonneau cover, and these centerline billet wheels. Otherwise, it is mostly all original. And these are a 21560 16 tire on there, so 16 inch rim, front disc brakes. This car is repainted in 2018. Really nice, high quality job. I mean, you're not seeing any, you know, masking marks or overspray on anything. The body works straight. Let's try to show down the side of it there. Good reflection. I do see just a little bit of maybe a transfer in the paint right there. No rust on it. The tires have excellent tread on them. Oh, little chip there. On the door jam, but the, the body, the, the panel gaps are straight. So the weather stripping here is cracking. This is a heads up. The seats are in excellent shape. I don't see, even see anywhere on the bolster there. Same thing with the door panels. They're beautiful. Dash doesn't have a crack in it. Headliner. Looks like it's brand new. These usually really bad about sagging and bubbling. There's not a sag or a bubble in this one. I love that curved glass in the back too. That's just cool. There's the uh, gas and brake pedal. Like I said, if it had more than 55,000 miles, I think you'd see a lot more wear on those. Door shuts nice. Somebody did dress up the engine a little bit with that chrome air cleaner and chrome valve covers. Otherwise, everything looks original to me. Still got even the sticker on the brake master cylinder there. Nice and clean. I'll leave the hood open so we can start it up here in a minute. Looking down this side of the body. Nice and straight. Tunnel cover, nice and straight. Oh, I locked that door. Bear with me here. Floor mats. Again, no wear on this seat. Door panels are nice. And this rubber weather stripping here is a little cracked just due to age. But actually, the ones inside. The weather stripping is still nice and supple. It's not cracking. That's all really nice and solid. Same with actually even this piece is still nice and, and supple. It's not cracking and hard yet. Door jams are nice. Door panels are great.
tailgate and rear bumper are in excellent shape. You have to excuse me, it's a little dirty in here still. This is just all dust and, and soot. But as you can see, even the bed's in really nice shape. There's a couple dents right there, as you can kind of kind of see. Um, but man, one of the nicer beds I, I've seen. I don't think this thing saw much hauling of any kind. It is a fiberglass tonneau cover there. It does have locks, which do work. It shuts nice and seals well. Now, I haven't started this car. This car, they washed it for me this morning. It's been sitting here for a couple hours. So let me uh, let me start it up. I'm not gonna pump the gas or do anything here. That's seriously how nice this car starts. 55,000 on the odometer. Gauges work. nice and smooth it barely vibrates you could almost set a glass of water on top of it no sound just runs nice but shuts nice without any problems gaps are consistent oh I did want to point out I did notice there are even though you can barely see them there's just two little dimples dents right there on, on the top. That is about the, the worst body damage on the entire car is just right there. I did notice that walking by the other day. I didn't want to point that out. But man, this is a sharp car. It runs and drives nice. It's, it's a true time capsule actually. cruise control and this was not a this is about as nice of an El Camino as you could buy without getting the SS sounds good too all right thanks so much for watching if you have any questions feel free to give us a call this is Garrett over at Conquest Classic Cars our number is 970-573-5291 thanks for watching